So for what I remember, we was in a concert. Uh, talk to Jojima. We finally did the Dojima uh, social link because I forgot to do it for the longest time. I didn't even know Dojima even had a social link. So that's a good thing to know. And I need to upgrade my expressions for Nanako. So maybe I should keep up with this. Um, I'll do this first. Since this looks important. Ah. You're that bored. I have a seat. You were also really behind. Oh yeah, level wise, I was actually really behind. You're right. You spent time talking with Ojima. And we found out uh, that way because uh, what's his name? Um, or no, yeah, it was some of the characters. Naoto, Naoto was like level 56, and we were like level 40 something. So we're still trying to grind on those levels. Midterms day three. What is the Japanese name for panda? Black and white bears? Black and white bears. I wish bird is falsely known for being cowardly in the English. Uh, it's an ostrich, right? Oh yeah, they, these midterms are going on for like a minute. What is the name of the Wasan textbook that came out in the Edo period? This I do not know at all. <laughs> uh, math, math girl, what? What? What does that even mean? Okay. See, like these answers are just dumb. I don't even know what that means. What did Napoleon have invented? That was glass jars, right? Glass jars, okay. All right, let me see. Midterm day five. What season is this? The objective risk a Kigu four is fall. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. What is dragon's blood? Uh, wait. All right. That's what I'm assuming. The last day of exams, you were familiar with every question. You feel confident about your answers because I cheated, <laughs> like always. You know what? I feel you, Yosuke. I feel you. Hey, about question eight. What's up? Uh, Chi and Yukiko are completely absorbed in reviewing the exam. I pulled an all-nighter last night, so I'm ready to collapse any second now. I'm gonna head home. Okay. See you later. See you later, Yosuke. Yosuke left. At last, the long midterms are finally over. Mm -hmm. Today was the final day of midterms. Since you have no leads, you must wait until the criminal takes action. The long week of testing has finally ended. What will you do today? Damn. You gotta be kidding me, bruh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna get normal. Cause all I gotta do is level up. It won't be that bad. Eat your heart out. This who got me girls. Here comes Hanako. No. Okay, okay bro. Huh, I'm tired of coming to school. I can't believe they let that Tatsumi in here. I hear he started his own gang and goes around bullying people. How did I get to be in the same class as him? He's out snooping around the practice building right now. How scary is that? It seems Kanji's bullying people? Or are the rumors true? What? Yeah, wait a minute, hold on. Uh... The practice building? Oh, because technically this is like the freshman area too, right? Where's Kanji at? Kanji, what's going on, man? Whoa, Junior Senpai. I wasn't peeing inside, it's not like that. What? Or I mean, I wasn't peeping inside, shit. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. So, why are you making that scary face at me? Do you have something to tell me? Yes, I do. I see, let's go somewhere else then. 
Sumogawa flood plain. He brought Kanji here to learn the truth behind the rumors. What is it? What do you want? Dragging me out here? Oh, you here to tell me off or something? Something like that. You're not far off. I'm just here to talk. Huh. How come you sound like a cop? So, what is it? You asked Kanji, but about his ties to the gang of bullies? Huh? Bullies? M -m -m me? Senpai, you suspecting me? I want to believe in you. Senpai, I didn't do it. I mean, maybe it ain't that easy to trust me, since they say I was in a gang. But you gotta believe me. Yeah, I mean, he was only, you know, trying to stop the sound from outside from the bikers that one day. Because they were making too much noise, but that was it. It's my own fault rumors like that go around, huh? At this rate, I'll be causing trouble for you guys. Everyone's like that. Don't worry about it. Senpai. Uh, whenever you got time, could you maybe hear what I had to say? I feel all cramped inside, and I'm too dumb to know what it's about. Clumsy as he is, it seems as Kanji is looking for an opportunity to change. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Kanji. What? Kanji has a social link too? What the fuck? Okay, well, that's good to know. Thou art I, and I am thou. Oh, I don't even read any of this. Okay. I was, I don't I don't ever read any of that stuff. To make sure I don't cause you any trouble. Huh? Well I guess I should smack that gang of bullies around. Uh bro. <laughs> Later. <laughs> you talked with Kanji for a while and went home. Okay, interesting. Now we have social link with Kanji. I'm not gonna lie, they were creating too many social links. Nanako doesn't seem to be home. I'm home! Oh shit, that scared the fuck out of me for a second. They was like, she wasn't home. Oh, welcome back. What up, Nanako? There was a letter in the mailbox for you. Dude, don't leave like that. It scared the hell out of me. What's going on here? The letter is addressed to Mr. Junior Blakey BK. <laughs> Wait till P5. Oh boy. But the sender's name and address are nowhere to be found. There is only one sentence printed. Don't rescue anymore. How the hell? Is it from a friend? I don't know. It's a threat. But how did they figure it out? Oh, my show is almost done. I was trying to figure out how they knew it was us. Don't rescue anymore. Could this be a warning from the killer? Or is it just a prank? I mean, it can't be a prank, because you're, you, you, you're like the only one who has the information of the Midnight Channel. So, you should discuss this with the crew tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds like a definite discussion, because that's weird. Hope what is that? You all from the madness of this world. I'll take you to a place. Where you can be at peace. Yes, it's much more peaceful than here. Well, I don't like where this is going. You showed everyone the letter you received yesterday. Don't rescue any more. Is this a warning? No punctuation or capitalization. Aw, oh, what a cliche. Uh, ain't this just a prank? The kind of stuff that only happens in the movies? I mean, but it can't be a prank. We're the only ones who have the information of the Midnight Channel, so like... Did you show this to your uncle? No, hell no. Uh... I don't plan to. Senpai, Dojima-san is trustworthy. But it may be best to keep this to ourselves. Yeah, because, like, I mean, he don't know anything about the Midnight Channel, so I don't want him getting involved, you know? He will ask why you received such a letter, 
and if he were to put you under surveillance, our hands would be tied. Yeah, that'd be really bad. If this letter is real, what's most important isn't what it says. It's the fact that it was delivered to the Dojima residence, addressed directly to you. This means the culprit knows in great detail who has been interfering with his crimes. And of all of us, he chose to deliver his message to the Dojima residence, home of a police detective. I'd have this letter checked at a crime lab if I could, but even then I doubt they'd find anything. The text is a warning, while the subtext expresses the culprit's confidence that we can't use it to pinpoint his identity. So it's useless to tell the police. In fact, that would make things worse. Yeah, because, like, I don't know. I don't know if we can even trust him. Cross your fingers, it's just a prank. I think the chances of that are slim. This message is too specific, too perfect to be a prank. Because that's the thing. If they if they find out about the message, bro, they're not going to let them go outside or do anything, bro. So they won't be, be able to go out. They'll be kept under surveillance How could the killer know so much about us? That's what I want to know, too. Like, he seems to know so much. Could he be watching us from somewhere? I don't even know. Seems like it. Teddy's been saying for a while that when we're over there, he senses someone watching us. Wait. Every time we went to the other side to rescue someone, did we end up on the Midnight Channel ourselves? Mmm. I don't know. It seems like no one else knows what we're doing. I haven't heard any rumors about us at school. Even the people who I know check that channel haven't said anything. The only gossip I heard was about the people who disappeared. Okay. That's so weird. I see. Come to think of it, how the Midnight Channel works is still a mystery. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. I kept thinking the same thing. I always thought like if we were in the Midnight Channel, they would it would broadcast it to be on TV. So I was always wondering if like were we like on the TV while it was airing, or was it just like a whole like oh, um they just didn't show or broadcast any of like what was transpired at all. I mean, guess we got our answer now, because since no one knows anything. And that would make a lot of sense since Dojima doesn't Let's know. Let's put aside for now the matter of what that world truly is. There's too little data to go on. For now, we need to keep in mind that the culprit knows who we are. As long as we're all aware of that, it will be enough for now. Yeah, guess there's no use thinking about stuff we can't understand. Hmm. Freaking out over speculation is just what the killer wants us to do, right? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Until the others, we'll have to wait until the situation changes. Alright. Mind if I change the subject then? What's up? The culture festival's just around the corner. What's our class doing again? Oh yeah, it hasn't been decided yet, huh? I heard we'll be voting on it soon. But aren't they still gathering ideas? I guess so. Whoa, I think Yosuke just got hit with a bolt of inspiration. <laughs> Whatever it is, it'll be out there. I'd bet my lunch on it. Oh no. Hey senpai, have you decided who you'll be going around the campus with during the festival? This girl, man. She doesn't give up. <laughs> my schedule's still wide open, you lucky guy. Oh my god. <laughs> She just had to say something. Yep, it's every time. Reese say. Reese is notorious for this. Dude, she just doesn't give up. She is a menace. Was that winning letter a prank? However, because you have no leads, you have no choice but to wait until something happens. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Um, shit. Oh, senpai! For free, let's go play. You feel your relationship with Risei is going to become closer soon. Let's get Risei. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
the hill overlooking town. You came here at Risei's request as she says she likes it here. When I first got to town, I used to sit here and do nothing. I would just listen to the sound of the river, the sound of the birds, the sound of the rain. I felt I could forget Reset and find myself that way, but... Senpai, have you ever thought you're pushing yourself too hard, too far? That you were just acting all the time? <laughs> really? Then you might even be a better actor than me. But I see, you've been through a lot too. It seems Rusei is a bit relieved. I feel like I've been able to relax after coming to Inaba. Mm. Ugh, excuse me. Uh, meeting all of you, laughing together, watching the store, uh, leading comics, playing with the cat. <laughs> the cat? When I was at my parents' house, I was on my best behavior around them. Oh, but grandma doesn't ask me anything. You know, like why I quit or what I'm thinking of doing next? She just talks about tofu. She says I'm like, tofu? <laughs> what? I had to ask her what that meant. The way she explained it, tofu looks weak and fragile, but it's actually pretty resilient. Mm. Even though it stands out because it's not like any other food, it could be fixed in, with any recipe or flavor. Tofu is incredible. I'm nothing like that. Mm. I... I was actually bullied at school before I made my debut. I wasn't good at talking, and always looked at my feet. Oh, I was alone the entire time. But I didn't have a problem with that. No one expected anything of me. And then, the application my relatives sent without telling me past the first audition. I wasn't interested in being an idol, but I wanted the chance to change myself. And just by chance, I won. <laughs> When it happened, I panicked, thinking maybe I should turn their offer down. I hate tofu, so I guess I now hate Risei. Tuh! <laughs> really? <laughs> and I thought if I appeared on TV, I can make friends. That was literally the only reason I went through it. Through, went through with it? Oh, okay. After a while, I realized something. The person everyone likes, the one they say hi to on the street, that's not the real me. Reset is the one everyone likes the fictional character that they sold the public hmm it's the same with you isn't it you don't have to deny it i won't be mad you're with me right now because i'm reset yeah i mean no i'm sorry <laughs> that wasn't a fair question i mean to be honest i couldn't care less if she was reset yeah i mean no but i'm happy you said so Risa smiles weakly. I mean, we didn't even know who she was, to be honest, when she got here, so I don't know. When I got back to school after my debut, no one believed me. I was happy at first, with people I didn't even know talking to me. But they weren't suddenly interested in Risa Kuchikawa. They wanted to hang out with Risa. The bullying stopped, but I felt like none of them saw the real me. In my heart, I've always thought, this isn't the real me. Funny, huh? I was the one who wanted to change, and... I mean, still can. But none of that matters now. I'm done being reset. Now I have people who know the real me. Plus, I have the power that can that can help everyone. I love that. This time, I'm going to change it to a reset that everyone can like. Keep an eye out for her, senpai. Alright, cool. Reset is smiling. You feel that like you understand reset even more. Okay, so we're like halfway through this. <laughs> the reason Kujikawa social link has reached level five. Let's go. I still gotta. I still gotta get through the Nautico. See you later, senpai. I still gotta get through the Nautico social link. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Cause I heard it was important. God damn it, please. Oh my god, but with your current level of expression, it doesn't seem that you'd be able to get out of her. If your level was, was enthralling, you'd be able to get to her to tell you. Oh my god, dude, how do I get... Damn it. Oh boy.
Increasing expression is hard. You overhear students talking. The culture festival is going to be Saturday and Sunday next week. Oh, there's a rumor that one of the classes still hasn't decided what they're going to do. Yeah, that's pretty common. They'll argue about it forever, but in the end, they'll end up with something lame like a rest area. One, I mean only one more week left to get ready. I need to get fired up too. Yeah, I do need to catch up with my levels though of battle. It's time for homeroom. Well, as you all know, next week is the culture festival. And as you also know, we still haven't decided what our class is going to do for it. <sighs> you guys don't care, do you? We are going to decide based on the suggestions we have so far. Please vote for one of them. Here they are. Break area, video room, and study room. Okay. Wow. Sounds like whatever we pick, we don't need to put any effort into it. Talk about lack of motivation. It sounds like a Dodgy's voice. Yeah, but the easier the better, right? Oh, one more. Um, group date cafe. Huh? Hey, who put in a suggestion like that? Oh, Yosuke, of course, dude. You lonely bastard. Was it you, Chie? Why would it be Chie, of all people? Yeah, right. Why would I do such a thing? Exactly. What's a group date cafe? Dude, Yukiko is so innocent. She doesn't know anything. Who knows? But I doubt anyone will vote for it. Our class is actually a pretty serious bunch. Yeah, it's just a joke idea. You gotta have one weird one mixed in, you know? This guy, bro. Ah, figures! <laughs> we'll be passing around the vote sheet. Uh, just circle one of the suggestions. Okay. What will you vote for? Uh, I'm dumbfounded myself. Break area, video room, study room. Hmm. You made your selection and turned into a seat. All right, time to count the votes. Uh, the first vote is group date cafe. Second vote, group date cafe. No way. Huh? Seriously? No shot. <laughs> Third vote, video room. Fourth vote, Group date cafe. Group date cafe. Group date cafe. Study room. Group date cafe. Damn, there's a lot of group date cafes. <laughs> All of the votes have been counted. The group date cafe is in first. Due to what? Oh, first place? What are we gonna do? When did you chose it. Don't ask me. This is your fault. That's what I'm saying. What, what do you mean? I do wonder though. Do all those people who voted for it realize they have to run it themselves? I've never been on a group date before, so I was a little curious. Well, I I will say this right now. Um, that's a lot of lonely people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, those poor people. What the? You voted for it? Uh, you, you really? Yeah. I thought it would be sad if no one voted for it. What the? <laughs> you can go. But Yosuke's the one behind it. Hey, it wasn't just me. It came in first place. The public agrees. Okay, but you made it up first. Well, since the majority rules, we'll be doing the group date cafe. But what does that even mean? Is it like speed dating? Can we really pull this off? You'd all better pitch in on this. Actually, would the teachers be okay with this? That's actually a good question. Dude, how could Kashiwagi say no? Miss Kashiwagi's busy getting ready for those two notorious pageants. Pageants? That's why she's leaving it up to us students to decide what to do. There's a pageant? Yeah, right. She just dumped it in our laps because she didn't want to bother. There's a, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Group date cafe? Are we going to get any customers with this? Oh, my lord. <laughs> Please enlighten us, what is a group date cafe? I, I I think it's just a cafe with just going on a group date with each other couples. I don't I don't know. 
You're probably being sarcastic. <laughs> Seriously, what is a group date cafe? Oh I my god, bro. How do y'all not know this? Damn. Oh my gosh. How the heck's this gonna turn out? I don't know, just get a bunch of chairs and tables and just all group up with each other. Is is it really that hard? I mean, I'd rather be doing that than just like, I don't know, pulling out a restaurant or some shit. Alright, let me go over here. Damn, I have 40 hours on this game. Holy smokes. Um... Oh yeah, that's right, I already did all my stuff. Yeah, well, it seems like... Yeah, that, that's, uh... That's something. Alright, let's go over here. And of course I can't be able to talk to you. Oh my lord, dude. But how do we even get to that point? That's so annoying. Um, no. Hold on. Okay, I say translate. Says I'm trying to get enthralling, but it doesn't seem like that's happening for a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello? It's me, Chie. Would you mind hanging out with me today? Um. Yeah. yeah. I'll see you soon. Yeah, because we're pretty close to Chie's, to be honest. Central shopping district in front of Chinese diner, Aya. You finished today's training and decided to stop by with the Chie. Hmm. Steak bowl or combo plate? The ultimate decision. Stop it. Huh? Shut up, dumbass. Uh, yeah, that's right. We all know it's time to cough up. Well, this is it. Quit bullshitting us. That voice. It can't be. Let's go, Junior Kun. Wait, who is that? Takashi? Oh, is that her ex or something? Or her, like, other friend? Hey, someone's here. Whatever. Let's take their money while we're at it. This guy only had 1,000 yen on him. <laughs> Damn, he was broke. Chie. Hey. What are you running for? Gonna hide behind a girl, huh? Are you alright? I'm fine. You've always been good at stuff like this. Really? Are you- <laughs> Oh my god, guy can't even defend himself. They all- they took all my money. You're gonna get them for me, right? Well, it does take me off. Hey, cowards. Getting up on one guy? You gotta be ashamed. It's to take care of them for me. That was fast. Sheesh. Yeah, he like really ran away. Come on, what's the matter? Let's throw down. Oh, she's she's like, what's with this bitch? Uh, think you're all that? I ain't afraid to hit a girl. We'll kick your ass. Oh wait, really? The punks are aggravated by Chase taunt. Things aren't looking good. Hold Chase back. Fight them yourself. Huh? In your coon? Chase seems. Discontent. What a pain in the ass. Yo, that guy who ran away might call the cops. Screw this, let's go. Hey! Hold on, wait! Oh, he just. Okay, that just happened. What the heck? Running away when you step in? Why'd you butt in? What? What? I, I wanted to help. What? <laughs> what? You thought you couldn't leave it up to me? I could have handled it myself. I... Sorry. I charged it by myself. Caused you trouble. It's no trouble. Uh, just dig next time. 
I'm sorry. Jay looks apologetic. You're right, huh? I gotta remember, I'm not alone. It's always like that. Everyone's doing their best. Then I start to worry that it's all up to me. I've gotta work harder. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know why you got pissed at me. I was trying to help you. <laughs> I worry that someday I'll end up causing even more trouble, like I did today. <laughs> I'm so stupid. It seems she regrets grandstanding. What? Grandstanding? Okay, you felt Chie's quiet passion. Interesting. Oh, damn. We really are almost done. We got like three more left. Wait, three more left? Junior Kuhn, thank you. Um, never mind. I need to work harder. Huh? Why am I mopey? I'll think about it some. Though I'm not too smart. See you later! You walked on part way, Chie. Okay. I guess you must have been thinking about the... Welcome the, back. The I love you comment. Or whatever it was. Alright, I'm sorry, Dojima, but I gotta, like... I really gotta, um... Get my, uh... Expressions done. Alright, what is this? You decided to continue reading the gentle way. Okay. Oh no. It's a rainy day today. Hello. Good morning, Senpai. I heard from Risei san that it seems nearly everyone earned their scooter license over the summer. You may be interested to know that I acquired mine around the same time. Quite a coincidence, isn't it? Why did you get yours? A detective often needs to be in many places at once. I thought it would be useful as means of transportation. I'm a confident cyclist. Should the opportunity arise, I'd be happy to show you how I handle a bike. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, interesting. I mean, I didn't even notice that to be honest. Hey everyone! Post this test result. Oh no. Ugh, the awful moment of truth. Oh well, want to check it out? Oh brother. I mean, it doesn't really mean anything to me because I cheat, so it is what it is. Bro, I stay cheating on this shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> uh, your score was in the top 10. Wow. Nice. Good going, Junior. You're so smart. Let's go. Feels great. Alright, bro. Mmm, I do want to do Yosuke's. Yosuke's is also important. Uh, do you know how long Marie trying to plan to stick around here? Well, give her my regards. Tell her we should all hang out together again. It's been a long time since we hung out with Yosuke. Junessa's food court. We came here with Yosuke for a quick bite to eat. So, what you gonna eat today? Hey, Hanamura. What is it today? How come Kazumi can take the day off and we can't? Why is it up to him? Huh? We told you before! We can't work Saturdays! So when we refused, they said that we were going to fire us. They were going to fire us? I don't get this. But why are you all coming to him? He's just a part-timer. I don't... Okay, alright. Hey, I talked to the manager. Senpai, have you two been taking absences without leave lately? I, I just forgot to come. Besides, that's not the point. What are you going to do about this? I have a date today. Oh, I have a date that day. Oh, how come you're favoring Kazumi, huh? You were like that with Saki, too. Huh? Don't try to hide it. We all know. You like Saki and treated her special. Wait, I, I'm, wait, I'm confused. Why are they treating him like he's a manager? I thought he was just a part-timer. Like, I know he could talk to his dad about stuff, but, like, I don't think he could control the whole thing. I don't think Saki's input has anything to do with this subject. Yeah, it does. Bro, the girl's, like, dead. 
I don't like what what bro you told the other workers to take it easy on Saki too didn't you you think you could do anything just because you're the manager's son I didn't how did huh so it's Kazumi now that Saki's dead don't even bother she has a boyfriend didn't you get it Saki didn't like you we heard we hear so from her she may have acted that way but they started to badmouth Saki senpai Calm down, man. I feel bad for Saki. Junior Goon. Who are you? Are you stupid? Hey! Don't talk to like don't talk like that to Junior. Just shut up, will you? You're really getting on my nerves. What do you know about Saki Senpai? She didn't do things half-assed like you. She looked lazy, but she worked hard. She talked bad, but she was a good but she was good inside. So she hated me. I knew that. She's not here anymore. And I'm left behind. Just leave me alone. What the heck? Let's go. Hey, y'all are annoying, bro. Damn. Like, dude wasn't even, like, the manager's son. I mean, he, is, he is the manager's son, but, like, he, he's not, like... I don't know, bro. He doesn't have, like, all that control. I just worded out a bunch of crap, huh? You're just upset. No. I was just... Yosuke is smiling pathetically. Damn. Another pathetic display from Yosuke, huh? Thanks, though. Thanks. Here you say that stuff to them. It made me happy. Yosuke is smiling sheepishly. You feel your relationship with Yosuke has grown deeper. Hey, they're kind of dickheads, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. The Yosuke Hanamura social link has reached level 7. Your power to create personas of the Magician Arcana has grown. Yosuke's determination in battle hasn't been enhanced. Yosuke can now endure a mortal blow during battle. <sighs> I don't want to. I really don't want to, but I'll go talk with Dad. At this rate, those two are gonna quit. I should tell him and I apologize. I don't know. Uh, what to do? I want. I don't. What do I want to do? I don't get it. Even though it's my future. Sorry. But I'll see you later, Junior. I saw Yosuke off and went home. Yeah, that was kind of strange. Oh, you're home! And I guess I can't talk to you still. God damn it, dude. How long is this expression level thing, bro? I'm gonna read this whole book. Yes, let's go. Finally, Jesus Christ. Uh, now we can go talk to her. Good morning. Good morning, Junior Zan. This rain, I don't like it. No one has turned up yesterday yet, but it still makes me uneasy. Yo! Sorry to barge in. Yosuke forced himself under the umbrella. Make room for me too. This was already full, dumbass. Getting out to the big room under hers. It's quite all right. By all means, Kajikun. You'll catch a, a cold at this rate if you don't. <laughs> what? Me and her under the same? Oh my god, dude! Just get under the damn umbrella. Uh, under the same umbrella? To hell with that. If I did that, um, it'd mean we'd practically be like a couple. What? And that's a problem because, dude, how old are you? <laughs> Yo, Kanji's funny, bro. Shut up. Come on. Let's trace spots. You know how stupid that sounds, right? Well, that's fine with me. Now, to mind if I walk with you? Hey! Hey, who are you calling stupid? Stop talking shit about me. Ugh, will you just make up your mind? Excuse me. Uh, I don't mind making room forever. Uh, make Kanji go with Naoto. Uh, go with Naoto yourself. Huh? You? A third choice. Uh, not what I expected, but I have no objections. Ah, damn it, I don't need an umbrella. A damn drizzle like this. It's not drizzling, it's actually raining. 
I'll show you all how it's done. What the? What? 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 God, you good? God, this dude. Sheesh. That idiot's gonna make himself sick. Oh crap, we're gonna be late if we keep this nonsense up. Let's hurry it up. Let's hurry it up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like what? What was that? Alright. Alright, hold on. What a town. Uh, go here. I would say we should definitely level up though, because like. Welcome back. Damn. Hey, Junior. Freddy did well on the last exam. Getting the job done while taking care of Nautico too, huh? I had to act like an uncle every so often and give you some spending money. But don't spend it all and nah, you can use it however you like. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh let's spend time with Ojima. Hmm. I heard something at the ga I heard something at the station the other day about well, I heard you guys hang out at Juness pretty often. Ojima's probing stare hurts. Um, uh, nothing wrong with that, of course. The question is, why do you make so many trips to and from the electronics department? Dad! Oh, uh, this isn't what you think. I'm not interrogating him. It's not fair! You're always talking with Big Bro. What? I mean, today you're home, but... I always talk with you. When is always? I... I want to talk. Nanako rubs her eyes sleepily as she says it. Oh, <sighs> It's been time for you already. Go to sleep. I'll play with you next time. You promise? Nanako reluctantly returned to her room. Man. When is always? Huh. Why not play with her? Uh. <sighs> I'm busy. Dojima grimaces. Oh yeah, he was all. He is always busy with work. Truth is, I mostly love raising her up to my wife, her mother. So I don't really know how to approach her. What? My nigga, you're a grown ass man. How do you not? And plus, I'm not fit to be her family. Good or not, your family. Yeah, I would say you're still. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Rajima's smiling wearily. You think just being related by blood makes you family? That's not the case. Yeah. But well, you better figure it out, bro. You're a grown ass man. <laughs> I mean, you became a parent a long time ago. You feel you began to grasp the worries Rajima carries inside him. Sorry. Oh yeah. Oh sorry. You didn't need to hear about that. Night. Get some sleep. Oh boy. Hey. Good morning, Junior Kun. The culture festival is just around the corner. Let's all do our best to prepare for it. Okay. Our class was late on deciding what to do and Miss Koshigawa has been very busy, right? So we need to pick it up and slack and make sure we do a good job? I pick up the slack and make sure we do a good job. Oh, I'm not interested in the blind date part. Understand. I'm not... Uh, okay? Uh, alright. <laughs> right. Sure. Oh my god, this woman again! Today I'll talk about the history of food. It'll be a nice change. Bro, what, the, the, what do you mean about the history of food? Among the food history, one of the most interesting is the history of French cuisine. Now, French cuisine is representative of European food, but it actually stems from Italian food. Okay. A noble Italian girl buried the French king in the 16th century, and that's when it crossed over, among other things, like the fork. 
I can't imagine eating some things without a fork today. Okay, I thought this was about food, not utensils. <laughs> it said that before the fork was introduced, everyone in France ate with their hands or just a knife. Okay. So modern French cuisine, with its strict manners now, has its roots in Italian cuisine. How about that? Wasn't well, interesting to see the world history through the lens of the food? You listen to the lecture intently. Okay. Okay, that's something. Oh, snap. I gotta hang out with Yosuke. I ain't gonna lie to you, because, um... Oh. Yo! Junior Senpai. Man, school is such a pain, isn't it? If you're not doing anything on the way, home today, uh, you wanna go grab some food? Think about it. I like how they keep telling us to think about it. <laughs> like, what? Okay. Um... Dude, I have so many social links I gotta do. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think I could do all of them, though. I'm just gonna be 100% real. Yeah, definitely not her. Yo, what's up, Drew? Alright, I already did her social link. But I think we're almost, yeah, we're almost like done with everyone's social link pretty much. Except for Risei's and some other people. Wait, I want to go in here. Oh, you're going in? Then I'll go too. Oh, damn it. I thought she was going to leave a poem. No. Okay. Crap. Oh, Yosuke. What's up, Drew? Yo! Yo, Junior, what's up? Want to go somewhere on our motorcycles? I mean, I don't have a reason or anything. I just feel like since I have one, I should put it to some use. There's just days like that, you know? It's not a motorcycle, it's a scooter. Why do they keep calling the motorcycle scooters? Alright. I don't know. <laughs> just chillin'. And then Genshin reaction. Nice, nice. The hot springs. You came here with Yosuke. Eh, I've never been to the hot springs with a friend before, but I gotta say, it's not bad. You get to relax, taking the scenery together. <laughs> so I gotta say, that this is kind of more of a something grandfathers do. <laughs> you enjoyed the hot springs with Yosuke. I feel like the time is right for an in-depth conversation. Okay, talk about the future. Huh? Well, uh, the future? Uh, yeah, I guess I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. Decided to speak with Yosuke about the future. Something changed inside of Yosuke. Nice. Dude, he is really low leveled. Holy shit. <laughs> um. Panic booze. I would say just, yeah. I would say that. <sighs> Bro, I don't know how that Ruby reaction got in though. I think it's because I probably did some editing stuff. I don't I don't know what it is. Cause like when I oh, I made it like when I was like uploading it, it was the the copyright thing was like loading for like a long time. Like it was just sitting there in that bitch, and I was just like, oh, they're gonna block this bitch, aren't they? <laughs> And then I guess they just didn't block it after all. It also got monetized too, so that was really weird. Okay. Let's go. Finally. Yes. Damn, that took so damn long. Um, don't tell it, Dad, but uh, I watched yours and it's weird. My original showed less. Yeah, I showed the full episodes. Yeah, I show the full episodes. I actually, even, I even played the music too. So maybe it's maybe it's because like it, maybe I didn't show some of the endings because I did cut out like the outros. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe that might be it. Um, don't tell dad, but 
Nanaka looks like she's about to cry. Ask what happened. Um, um. Nanaka looks nervous. They handed this out at school. They said to give it to our parents. The paper Nanaka gave you has the following written on it. Parent survey regarding scheduling of parent-teacher interviews. They said to have our parents write down when they can visit the school. But that is always working, so... He can't come, huh? Uh, I'll ask him with you. Really? Thanks, big bro. Anika looks relieved. I'll give this to Dad. I'll ask him to come. <laughs> I'm glad I asked you. You can feel Nanako's trust for you. You feel that your relationship with Nanako has grown deeper. Well, the good thing is, is that at least I won't have to edit a reaction, because I, if, if I had to edit Ruby, I wasn't going to do it at all. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. <laughs> I was not going to do that shit. I would have been just like, fuck it. The Nanako Dojima social link has reached level 6. Your power to create personas of the Justice Arcana has grown. He'll come, right? Since he's my real dad. Big bro, did you have parent-teacher interviews to do? Were you nervous? You talked about different things with Nanako. Good night. It's getting late. So you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. Dun, 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 Yo! Dun, 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 dun. Yo, Junior. What's up? Hey, what kind of event did the classes at your old school do during culture festivals? The school here in Inaba has a bunch of different events uh, for our culture festivals. I guess this is one of the few school events that everybody actually looks forward to. I'm looking forward to it. I know, right? I hope it gets really interesting, especially for some events in particular. Oh boy, the freaking group date shit. <laughs> I swear, man. There's a headline written in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasugami High Pageant. It seems to be announcing a beauty pageant that will take place during the cultural festival. Ugh, on top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it? So that's why she agreed to plan this event. Hmm. The name Noriko Kashigawi uh, is indeed on the entry. Kashiwagi, I mean, Kashiwagi. I keep forgetting the name. The other contestants are. You see a list of familiar names Chie Sakanaka, Risei Kuchikawa, Naoto Shirogane, Hanako. Ah, uh, Hanako! It's a surprising lineup. I guess Yukiko was on there too. One, two. Wow, there's a lot of signups here. Wait, that's I'm surprised all. Surprised so many people took an interest. Wait, that's all the main cast of girls. What the heck? Whoa, Risa Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. Wow, Yukiko-san's finally entering. Oh boy. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Yukiko has fans? Huh? Rosette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Oh my lord. I like how this is like in every anime, there's always like a main cast of girls like that are like the main characters that have like an interest for the main MC. And they always have like a fan base of like in the school or something. It's like some harem shit. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. That's how you know I watch too much anime, bro. Maybe I better Especially think more seriously ones. about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my type. Oh, okay, interesting. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. What? What the hell? Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? Bro. You know, she's, uh, pretty cute. What is... Uh, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> Yo, what? What's wrong with this nigga? This nigga started fucking snorting. <laughs> Dude, 
You sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. Oh, yeah, like, do oh, please chill. But bro. to be honest, I think she's cute too. <laughs> what is yo? Nah, it seems that Easy Girl already has fans. Nah, they, 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 they do it too much. Yo, what up, Yosuke? Are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. Oh boy. She looked pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, she she must have caused this. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. Okay. You were called out to the rooftop during lunch. Did something happen? I'm gonna assume that's what it is. I don't, I don't know. You better have a damn good explanation for this! Why is he yelling? Oh, oh, Yosuke was the one that did it. For what? The beauty pageant! You wrote down our names without telling us, didn't you? I like how she like quickly always assumes it's Yosuke. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. Why do you automatically blame me? For everything, literally for everything. I mean, if you don't want to do it, you just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. We wouldn't be so pissed if we could do that! Oh my god. With Kashiwagi planning this year's event, even those who got entered by other people can't back out! Oh my lord. Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. What? Oh, he really did do it! So it was you! Oh my lord. Oh crap! Elske, why? Hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. Dude, this is insane. So what's Chie? What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines <laughs> aren't going to take part? <laughs> Bro, I like how he just excludes Chie. Like, you know what? Fuck you. We got all these other three girls over here. Even though I put you in the beauty pageant anyways. Like, that's so... This is some petty shit. <laughs> so where do I fit in? Nowhere. Literally nowhere. Oh. Well, excuse me for not fitting in! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Uh, right. Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. What? I, I, I didn't say nothing. Oh boy. <laughs> what about you? You want them to be in it, right? Uh, not really. Enter the pageant, damn it. Uh, uh, uh. I guess so, sure. Uh, I thought you might be a little jealous, not wanting me to show off to other guys, but I guess you're not that uptight. I mean, I didn't really care in the first place, so whatever. Echo vibes. Yo, what's up, Echo? Hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? Uh, I, mean, I mean, I guess so at this point. So long as there are people <laughs> looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. I mean, I didn't really mind anyway, so I didn't, I didn't see a problem. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. What? Yeah, wait, what? That's right! That's the way to go. Teddy's looking forward to it too. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. Hmm. So Ted's behind this too. I guess so. Yeah, Teddy. <laughs> We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the point. That's probably why Teddy's not even here. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. Why do you say that? I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. The school authorities? Uh, I don't think it's a problem at all. I, I mean, just do it, you know? Seriously. Uh. Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Kanji, just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? What are you saying? <laughs> now it's um, not prepared for this. I beg you, please be in it. <laughs> what? This whole, dude, his whole tone just changed. If you do, my uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Ow, oh, shit, my hand. <laughs> what? Come on. 
Make me a man! Hey, oh! Doubts? What are you talking about? The, the, the way you are, that the, the, you're a girl or not, I don't... Look, just, just do it, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? I don't know what has anything to do with this, but okay, all right. <laughs> what does that have to do with a beauty pageant? Dude is getting gaslighted right now, that's insane. <laughs> what the fuck? Is he okay? I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> now this is just getting gaslighted to hell. The preparations for the cultural festival in two days are going well. We're back! I'm so tired! <laughs> Damn. Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Yes, since Yosuke is leading the executive committee. Wait, what? It was your proposal, right? It was. Are you serious? What do you mean, are you serious? You can't just back out now. Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table. Conduct a short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. Hmm. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? <sighs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, want to be the batter? <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back in your face. All right, let's go. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. The group day cafe that your class will be running at the culture festival is getting underway. Uh-oh. You're back. Oh, yeah, I am. Hey. What's wrong, bored? Let's go. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you say you're that bored? Have a seat. Mm-hmm. 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 my boy Kanji a man, damn it. I <laughs> know. Mm hmm mm -hmm. What's happening now? You can see a headline in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasugambi High Pageant. It seems that a cross-dressing pageant is also going to be held at the cultural festival. Oh, shit. Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. Oh, <laughs> shit. This is not good. <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Oh. Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Let's see, Yosuke Hanamura... ME?! <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too! Uh, really? Yep, there we go. Junior Blakey BK. <laughs> That's your name. Alright. Damn. Wow, there's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get, like, two people last year? Two people? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Oh my god, bro. What is this you can't back out bullshit? Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? This is, this is kind of messed up, I ain't gonna lie. Ew, what a disturbing thought. Seriously, that's really wrong. Oh my lord. <laughs> someone else signs you up? GA. It's them. They must have done this. Yep. It seems that you'll have to enter the cross-dressing pageant at the cultural festival. Yep. 
I knew that was gonna happen. Damn shame. Oh shit. <laughs> you better have a damn good explanation for this! I be mean, let's be real, Yosuke. You have put him in many situations, like, twice. So you can't even talk right now. For what? For what, my ass? For signing us all up in the cross-dressing pageant. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, that thing! Yeah, like, come on now. Like... Risei-chan started saying, let's all have fun with this, so I didn't really have a choice. And Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> no. You little... This is cross-dressing! <laughs> well, you're the one who started it! Oh boy. It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right! True. I mean, yeah. I mean, he. I mean, he set them up like twice, so it's it's fair game. That's beside the point. That's not the beside. What do you mean, Yosuke? You're guilty as charged. Don't worry. What? What? We'll make you absolutely enchanting. Okay? What? Oh god, now I'm worried. <laughs> I'm That's worried. not what's important here. <laughs> I'm actually worried. It's about a man's pride, damn it! Why is? T <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Kanji's a true victim, because he really doesn't try to get involved in shit, and then he just just gets involved somehow. <laughs> uh, I'm really against this. I'll give him my- you know what? Might as well embrace it. Screw it, I'll give him my all. Whoa. Are you serious? Look, dude, I can't back out. They, they said I can't back out, so I can't back out. Yeah, yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. She is just a There's no now. way she's gonna listen. Like, I understand you had to invite Yosuke, but why the MC and Kanji? Especially Kanji. What, what, what did Kanji do? What? Why are you giving up? <laughs> I ain't doing this. Period. Oh my god, bro. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. Yukiko, no way. No shot. You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? Yeah, Yukiko's no joke, man. Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. This is insane. <laughs> Risei-chan's with us too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. Oh my lord, dude. This is... Yeah. You're positive we'll be pretty? <laughs> I guarantee it. Oh my god. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? I mean, he's kind of... I don't know, bi or something? I, I don't know what... I, I don't know what he is. Some... Well, if we gotta do alphabet this... Alphabet order Might as something. well go all the way with it. I... <sighs> There's nothing manly about being a woman. I seriously refuse. Yeah, I... <sighs> I mean, it's too late. Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji-kun can be classmates next year. I mean, then again, you can just be comfortable, so... With just cross-dressing in general, so I don't, I don't know. Why is this happening? You're acting like this is a mystery to you, dude. You set them up, like, twice. It's your fault. We all end up in the same boat without our consent. You did th this guy. <laughs> Uh, Shit! The exact same joke you pulled on us? Oh, fuck. I skipped it. My bad. If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> <laughs> but bro's acting like he innocent as shit. He knows what he did. Welcome back. Alright, let's, uh... No, I can't talk to Nadako. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do the festival today. Uh, you can go back to the dialogue if you missed something. Oh, I did? Really? Well, too late for that now. I know, guys. This is not a good playthrough, okay? This is like a wonky playthrough. It always is. The cultural festival will finally begins today. You wonder if your class project will be a success. You should hurry to school. Sco skill. 
I can't speak today, bro. I don't know what it is. Ooh, this looks nice. Nice, nice. Mm, okay. The class booth group date cafe. Dun, 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 dun. No one is stopping by. Damn, no one's even here. Come in for a first hand experience with group dating. Oh, oh this is so embarrassing. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, we. There's not that many people passing by here in the first place. Not gonna lie, if I knew it was gonna be like this, I probably would have done something else. I think we need some shills to drum up interest. Just so you know, you gotta get right on Persona 5 after this. I know, bro. I've been avoiding spoilers, bro. It's so hard. It's so hard to avoid spoilers. I, I feel like I've, I've avoided spoilers for like months now. It's it's so difficult. It's so damn difficult. <laughs> Persona 6 was confirmed by a leaker for next year. Next year! Damn! <laughs> Holy shit. Shills? And it could be announced uh, any who? day now. Oh! You know, um, there's a Persona 5 other game from China or something. But it's like Gotcha, apparently. Which I didn't know that. It's called Persona Phantom X or whatever. So, I don't know. I hope they get that translated to English. So, you know, maybe that. Yeah, yeah hella shit got leaked. Damn. Holy crap, bro. So, they're, that means they're just almost done with the game. Mobile only, though. Damn. Never mind. Who else is here besides us? Isn't that kind of sad? That is kind of sad. Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. I mean, I don't know. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means necessary. Persona 6, Persona 6 gonna be green. Oh snap. I can't wait till it comes out. Yeah, that got leaked as well. I can't wait for the Phantom X. Honestly, yeah, I mean, I'll play that on the phone. I can't wait for that too. But there's only five of us here. Yo, how's it going? Nothing much, Ganji. How you doing? I came to check up on you... Guys? There's no one here. Perfect timing! But now we've got four guys and two girls. Eh, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow anyways. One of you can sit on the girls' side. This is crazy. What? I'm not gonna... Uh, quickly, grab a guy's seat. There you go, Yosuke. You'll be our girl. Are you serious? <laughs> Even with everyone pretty much do it was going to be green. Oh, are you talking about the, the color theme? Blake didn't know that's why I said it. Oh yeah, I, I had no idea. I didn't read the leaks. I just knew that there was like, it was coming out at some point that Persona 6 was. Dude, I don't even care, but I'm a Persona fan at this point. I don't give a damn. I'm just playing Persona all the way. I gotta be five too. I really gotta be five. I know there's strikers as well. I'm gonna get going. Take care. All right, Rune. Thank you for watching the stream, bro. Have a nice day, and uh, I'll catch you later, or maybe tomorrow. Uh, who knows? Persona Five solos. Is it really the best Persona out of all of them? Five the best. Damn. All right. Well, let's get started. All right, let's go. Uh, I downloaded the PSP emulator so I can play through Persona 1 and 2. Damn. How's that going? I'm glad you didn't start with 5, though. Heavy Persona 5 dick writing. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people wanted me to start it off with 5, but... I had a pull, and it really was heavily on four, so I was just like, you know what, might as well just start with four. So that went well pretty uh, well. You guys can start now. Play Persona 5 Royale, the expended version. Okay. Mm. Cut a smash. <laughs> uh, will someone please start? Oh, because yeah, the, uh, you became a character on the Smash Bros. I remember that. <sighs> the silence is heavy. Actually, what the hell is this? 
You just talk to each other. How is this so difficult for people? A mock group date. A mock group date. I thought it was just a group date. I mean, we're on a group date. <laughs> this is like really disappointing. Look, if I knew it was going to be like this, I probably would have done the movies. You don't have to talk like a girl. Yeah, this is really awkward. Not gonna lie. Yes, so, what are your hobbies? Man, you're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> I, I mean, he doesn't really talk to much people. I like, um, martial arts in general. Uh, m mainly watching them. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Yikes, this is really embarrassing. It's not even embarrassing. It's just awkward as hell. Mm, my hubby is... Um, wow. Defeating shadows? Yukiko, why? That's not a hobby! Oh my gosh. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. She has no idea. Okay, then we'll ask you a question next. Um... Um... <laughs> what type of girls do you like? There we go. Uh, that's a question. Whoa, getting right to the point. Yeah, uh, it's about time. I guess... Uh, cute girls? Okay, class rep, cute girls could literally mean anything. Man, this is lame. <laughs> oh, now it dawns on you? Bro, you the one who did, you put the thing, you put it in the vote. What? Oh my god. Your turn. What type of girls do you like? Bro, I, I just like whatever Yosuke does stuff, it always backfires on him completely. <laughs> it never works out for him. Um, it's something, although I've never played one and two, only three or four and five. Yeah, I I heard about one and two. I just I don't know, bro. I would rather look on a story about one and two, and that's pretty much it. Five is a tad overrated, but it's still good. Hmm. Okay. Someone like Chie, someone like Yukiko, a kind girl. I don't really care. I don't really care is insane. I don't really care. Oh, he did not just seriously. You can't just say things like that. Uh, <laughs> you can feel the girls staring at you coldly. Your turn, Kanji Kun. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I. Uh, well, I, I. I guess someone who's uh, kind of mysterious and uh, looks strong, but actually kind of. Yeah, I really wonder who you're talking about. It is now, so exactly. It's split into two games, though. Uh, okay. Should you try asking a question? Any of us you like GA? Any of us you like Yukiko? Any of us you like Yosuke? <laughs> I want to ask Yosuke. <laughs> well, you guys are all wonderful, but I think you'd be the most reliable. I mean, you idiot, don't make me play along. <laughs> yeah, this is looking rough, I'm not gonna lie. The silence is heavy. Senpai, how are you doing? Oh, wow, <laughs> uh, just Just leave, Rise. Uh, <laughs> Rise, leave. Save yourself. Well, see ya. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> Market. The group date cafe is officially a failure. Bro, I damn it! I should have done the movies, dude. I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. I've heard Jace Shmo after I beat one. I'm excited for two because of all the hype. Hmm. That's what's up. The first day of the cultural festival ended on a strange note. You decided to at least walk around the school a bit before going home. Damn it, I should have just done the movies, dude. It's got me high hallway. Wow, this class is exhibiting a collection of local artifacts. I wish ours was doing something this cool. We're doing a freaking play, man. What's up with that? It's too late to complain, Piglet. Why is he calling it Piglet? It's not Piglet, it's Helmet. How did I get stuck with that role? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what the fuck? How did he get Piglet? Uh, yeah, what the fuck is going on in this game? 2 is a wild experience. Definitely looking forward to how they remake it. 
yeah, I, re I hope they remake two. I don't want them to remake four. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I don't think there's any point of remaking four. What's happening? <clears throat> ah, yeah. At least one and two is fine. Honestly, or one and two, I just wait for a remake. That's what I'm saying. I, I feel like I'm gonna wait for a remake for that to come out before I do anything. And who the hell came up with this play, Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet? Dude. Chill out, dude. Tomorrow's gonna be way more exciting. Right, Junior? I don't even know <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> for sure. I'm gonna be rooting for you in that booty contest. Remember, first place or bust. You have fun with Ko and Daisuke. Two is for sure getting remade, but it's not a calendar system, so I don't know how it's gonna work. Oh yeah, that's right. They don't have a calendar system. So that's gonna be interesting. You tour the cultural festival with your friends. You're back. All right. And I can't talk to her either. God damn it. Dun, 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 the second day of the culture festival at the classroom before the contest begins. Yo, the gang's all here. Oh shit, this is about the pageant. Why are you guys just standing there? Come on, hurry up and sit down. Oh boy. Come on, Kanji Kun, over here. <laughs> God damn it, Teddy. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. Why do I feel like this This is very... The cross-dressing pageant will begin soon. It looks like you'll have to give up and let you could go apply makeup on you. What about me? It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. I think Teddy actually might win this. I'm not gonna lie. I, he has like the facial features of a woman. To, uh, oh, I already read that. He seemed that. bored, so we signed him up as a last-minute contestant. Oh, cool. So you're making him suffer too, huh? I mean, we might as well make all the guys suffer. Well, if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, Tokun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. Me? Oh, boy. The Nauto Teddy team's unstoppable! Does Nauto even wear makeup? Well, then... Um... First, I need some dazzling makeup. Mm. You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. Wait! The battle begins by choosing the right equipment! What? Okay. <laughs> we gotta use fake eyelashes, right? Oh. God, I hate fake eyelashes. Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Oh, shit. <laughs> so it begins. Oh, my lord. Ladies and gentlemen, we now begin the second day of the culture festival with the ever popular Miss Yasugami pageant. Let's get right down to it and introduce our first contestant. Wait, the guys are already going first? What the hell? She's a runaway express train who's in a born and bred and can kill with both her fists and her looks. Oh boy. Presenting Kanji Chan of the first year class three! Oh? Huh? <laughs> Sup? No shot, dude. This is not happening. The teacher needs to be arrested. Bro. T hey, yo, bro. <laughs> Deal. Oh, man. Oh, this is wrong on every level. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, don't rip me apart for asking, but what would you say is your best feature? 
Bro, you know damn well if they ever remake 4, they're going to cut this whole thing out. You know they are. Cancel culture is going to be like, oh my god, they're disrespecting the trans community. Oh, oh, oh the, the the rainbows, dude. They're gonna they're gonna do they're gonna like cut this so hard. It's gonna suck so bad. They're gonna be so offended. Like, it's, dude, I bet you, I bet you, hundred percent. I'm gonna play this video back and I'm gonna play a clip of this. I'm just I'm gonna say they're gonna cut this whole thing out. I know they are. If they ever remake four, they're gonna cut this whole thing out completely. They're gonna make a whole new event. I'm telling you, bro. They're gonna cut this shit way out. My eyes. Oh my Whoa! god. This is a conventional answer from this all too unconventional beauty. Oh lord. After such a strong start, I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant. An eloquent heiress of the noble Juness. No shot. She's pure bro. disappointment from the moment she opens her mouth. <laughs> Presenting Yosuke Chan of the second year class two. Dude, Yosuke gets like the biggest disrespect in this game. I swear to God. No way. Hi. Bro. Kanji's best girl. Holy Hello. crap. <laughs> I thought Yosuke Senpai would be able to pull it off. Oh shit. <laughs> Dude, it's terrifying. I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Oh my god. Now, you look ready to win in that outfit. Do you often dress like this? Did you smack his lips? Hey, yo? Hell no! Oh my lord. Uh. <clears throat> like, no way! How are they speaking so loud? The mic is like way across over there. What is with this? The laughing stocks up here. Uh, yeah, no shit. What did you think this was about? That's what I'm saying. Like, this is this is not a good thing. I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come. Up next, our third contestant. Oh my lord. She has the mildly bitter tang of the city, and she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky. Who is this? Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in the second year, Class 2! Junior Chan. <laughs> no more! Damn. Senpai, why are you doing this? I... I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. I thought he was cooler than that. Uh... <laughs> Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. Did you sign yourself up? Damn straight. Damn straight. Wow, he was more gung-ho about this than Kanji. I guess so, yep. <laughs> Damn that Kashiwagi. I mean, I got signed up, I couldn't back out of it, so it is what it is. <laughs> How dare she tear away our innocence like this! Now I'm scarred for life, damn it! Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is a terrible fucking teacher. <laughs> Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauties. Oh my god. Calling herself <laughs> king of the TV world, she's a cute, sexy little number. Give a warm welcome to Teddy John! Yeah? Give me your heart! No, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not. Nope. I refuse. Nope. Nope. I'm not doing it. Nope. That's a boy? The same thing. He actually pulled it off. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's so cute. Oh boy. I'd hit it.
Calling it is sexy. I don't know, man. You called it. I actually did call it. I'm not going to lie to you. I did say from the beginning he could pull it off. I didn't think they were going to say it like that, though. I hate it as insane. The votes have been collected. And the winner of this year's Bro, talk about clap Miss cheeks. Yasugami pageant is... The random contestant who won everyone's heart, Miss Teddy! Yay, Miss Teddy! As our champion, Miss Teddy will receive a very special prize. Later this afternoon, we will be hosting the Miss Yasugami pageant Why did he say it like beauties that? this time! Oh, thank God. Okay. Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant. Woohoo! Why isn't he excited? <laughs> An honorary judge? That's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. <laughs> what? Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. Bro, we didn't even win anything. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy too. Oh boy. Yeah, he's like over the top innocent. Well then, Miss Teddy, how does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? Oh boy. <laughs> the long-awaited day has finally come! I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be... Ta-da! A swimsuit competition! Oh, there we go. What the hell? Over my dead body? Well... Ah, it's too late. Aw, I didn't bring a swimsuit. Uh, <laughs> that bear needs to be disappeared. <laughs> well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. Uh. <laughs> this is great. I love the direction this is going. Bro, your shirt. How is she not fired yet? This is ridiculous. We need, we need to call for a vote for administration to just vote her out of here or something. I don't know. You change back into your uniform and return to the hall. Obtain drag costume. No way. I have a... Tr <laughs> I actually might wear that in the dungeon. Later that day in the beauty pageant dressing room. Yo, they got Hanako there. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? Oh, she's in it too? Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Teddy dropped this off. Oh boy. He said that they're swimsuits. Oh boy. Hey, we don't need them! Oh god, oh no, uh. <laughs> <laughs> My mature charms will win the day. Prison. Jail. <laughs> just, just literally jail. These are kids. What do you need? Why are you trying to attract kids for? <laughs> Bro, what the hell? I brought my own swimsuit, of course. What? No! Oh, my lord. I brought my own, too. You should have. You sh you should just be extinct. I don't know why you exist. Okay, I just. Uh, What's with these people? I don't know. I just. Oh hey, <clears throat> let's let's not do this. Yeah, I I I agree with you. Could go. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. Oh my lord. You call yourself an <clears throat> idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. Jailbait, like you're one to talk, dude. You're like a whole pedo right now. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> oh, they're talking shit. Suppose you think you're gonna take the crown, you little snoring pig! Damn! <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brains as rotten to boot. We went through hell because of you! Oh shit. That's it! Now I'm pissed! Oh, they're funny feet oh, now. Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. 
I, how is it? Where did she get this confidence from, though? Like, it, it, she, it's... Let this be a warning to the others, too. Uh, okay. <laughs> You're going to lose. Ew. Now's your last chance to run away. Dude, I don't... I feel... Oh, my God. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? <laughs> Shit. Well, <laughs> we did kind of run away last time. Shit, I mean, she broke the fucking scooter. So her fat ass could probably break your bodies or something. I don't know. She could just literally... All she has to do is literally jump on somebody and they're dead. That's what I'm saying. We got to stand our ground and get our revenge for that. Yeah, use your beauties for revenge. How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Oh, boy. Yeah. They're really into it in this now. Right, Reese chan Now, Jokun, we won't run from this, right? <laughs> huh? Me too? I, I mean, you might as well at this point. They're talking shit. Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? Yeah, I, I don't know. There's no way! Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. I like how since we found out, like, now it's just a chick, he's got more of, like, a feminine voice now. That's kind of funny to me. You're not going anywhere. They tried to hide it in the beginning, but I knew. Oh, boy. She said on this, though. You decided to watch the beauty pageant together with Yosuke and Kanji. But that's not all for the Culture Festival's main event. There's still more to come in the Miss Yasugami pageant. Oh, shit. The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? What? I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to try. I had to do it. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Now for our next God contestant, Miss Jay Sasanaka of the second year's class two. Bro. Come on out, Jay. <laughs> I thought I had to do the the. Uh, I thought I was gonna hear them or something. I don't know. Hi, hi, I'm Chie Sasanaka. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, um, I'm kind of shy. And my favorite Reserved. food is pudding. That liar. It's steak. <laughs> Thank you very much. Up next, another contestant from class two, Miss Yukiko Amagi. Wait, why is his name MC? Hello. My name is Yukiko Amagi. Um, my family runs the Amagi Inn. Okay. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Our hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. <laughs> Alright, that'll do nicely. Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kujikawa. Oh wait, they're all in their regular clothes. Hi, hi, my name's Rise Kujikawa. I haven't been in town very long, but it's a great place and I'm 100% thrilled to be here. So sorry that I'm not working as an idol right now. Rosette's gonna do her best, so I hope you'll all cheer for me. Let's go. The real reset, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh! Oh, thank you very much. Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane! He's not up. Hey, Kanji, here she comes. Oh, boy. Hey, shh, pipe down. <laughs> oh, wait. She actually appeared. I, I'm Naoto Shiragane. Is it weird that I'm actually? Wait, stop! No, no, stop it! No, no, no! This is this dude. No, no, no. Self control. All right, self control. She has nice blue hair. Okay, 
It's hard to believe <clears throat> I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. I... I thought she was gonna back out, I'm not gonna lie. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I... I really don't know what to say. <laughs> Can I step back now? Uh, oh. Yeah, I mean... What? <laughs> Kanji was just like you said, if you were, it's, I'm thrilled. <clears throat> And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage! Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. Ahem. I am Teddy, the honorary judge for this pageant. All Please right. keep in mind that if you anger me, you will be at a disadvantage. What? Well, uh, Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? Oh, God. What? Teddy, you... Ms. Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? Why? What are these questions? Huh? Stop it! Oh, my God. Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? Bro! <laughs> I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time, Rise Chan? <laughs> this guy. What kind of a question is that? Oh my lord. Hey, anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Yeah, get up off the stage. He's fired immediately. Wait till you hear this. For the first time ever, <laughs> this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition. Bro, bro needs to get off the stage right now. And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here. Oh my lord. Bro, we'll the off the stage. Our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. Yeah, bro, no, get off the stage. Oh my <laughs> god. No, bro, I'm looking at Hanako, dog. What, what the fuck is that, dude? She... <laughs> Oh my lord. Ooh. Yosuke, this guy. You sound like a dirty old man. Yosuke is a dirty old man at this point. Chie Senpai is cute though. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? This is great! Yeah, I don't know why she apologized either. Wow. Yukiko-senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. What does that mean? Beautiful, I'm guessing? I, I don't know. I don't know what she means by that. Yoo-hoo! Here's Rosette! She's so gorgeous. Huh? Uh, t t t <laughs> Kanji. Huh? Naoto backed out. Miss Naoto? She's not coming out. Not to be rude, is that a beast whale in the back? Um... No, that's a fucking walrus. <laughs> it looks like more of a walrus to me. I'm not gonna lie. It, he's gone. Or she's gone. Well, sad news, everyone, but Miss Naoto won't be coming out for this portion. Damn. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. I'm not gonna lie, hers is kind of mid. Oh, well, I had a feeling that would happen. Too bad, Kanji. Huh? No, um... Well, yeah. But don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? True. Yeah, you're right. It was good enough. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? Um... Shoot. Uh... Let's go for Rise. A class act all the way. An idol's idol. Thanks for waiting, everyone! The results are in! Looking at the way the vote went... 
You guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. Lots of different opinions with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters. On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing. And so, there's a clear winner. What's that? Who's won? Who won? Grand prize goes to... Miss Noto Shira Gunny! What? He wasn't even here? She, she wasn't even here? Oh my, bro. Her androgynous charm seems to have won most of the girls' hearts. Oh, that's why. We'd like to present Miss Nauto with her award now, but it looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part. I mean, at least Hanako in the didn't win. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Man, losing to Nauto. Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well. I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, senpai. <laughs> oh, my oh. oh my god. How could I lose a beauty pageant? Uh, oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Miss Kajawaki, uh, uh, <laughs> I uh, can't believe this. <laughs> yeah, uh, just, oh God. No, neither Ugh. can I. <laughs> Hanukkah. Are they gonna cry together? Miss <laughs> Kajawaki. Just no way. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, the Vizio Sugami High Pageant has time has come to an end. The Vizio Sugami High Pageant has come to an end. <clears throat> wow! Oh, it's the big bro. <laughs> oh, Nanako's here. Ah, good thing we found you. I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. All right. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Oh, it's a damn shame. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? No problem. Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? <laughs> Can I? Nanako. Thanks. Then I'm going to get going. All right, Ojima. See you. Oh, what's up, Tuss? Have a safe trip. Yeah. You have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. Hey, Nanako-chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Hey, yo. Wait a minute. Really? Just for free like that? Damn. We don't have to pay for dinner or nothing? What's good? Nothing much, bro. Just chilling, playing some Persona. Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Teddy, get out of here. No. Ooh, a celebration at your inn? Oh, well, I guess, okay, I guess, well, she only invited Nanako, but, uh, okay, everyone's gonna join in. Is that okay with you? What? Dude. Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so, yeah. Oh, wait, she's serious. Okay, I thought it was just Hell Nanako. yeah, I'm down. Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? Why would you do, okay, why would you do that? <laughs> oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Cool. Well, why not? Can I? Uh, she's offering, so why not? Yeah, I mean... Let's go! I want to spend the night! The sound, this is, this sounds like it's gonna be great. <clears throat> <laughs> Hot springs, you cut off, flushed skins! Alright, Teddy. Are you sure it's okay? I mean, isn't it still the busy season? It is. We've had fewer visitors this year. There are some open rooms, too. Oh, okay. Might as well, then. Man, when was the last time I stayed at Yukiko's place? I must have been forever. I guess we're going to the hot springs, man. Everyone will be staying at the Magi Inn tonight. 
cool. A room at the Amagi Inn. Aww, we're <clears throat> in different rooms. What did you think was going to happen, Teddy? Well, duh. Yeah, like, exactly. It's one thing if they were next door, but they're so far away. Oh my god, this guy. Yukiko said there weren't that many open rooms, so they're up on another floor. First thing they're going to do is take Nanako-chan to the hot springs. Is it one of those girls and guys together, Springs? No, Teddy. I don't want to take more than one bath if I don't have to. Why don't we take a dip before we hit the sack? Yeah. Sure, why not? <clears throat> By the way, what's up with this room? Bro, I remember when I had a TV like that in the back. Oh my god, bro. I feel so old. That old silver bricked up TV. Oh my lord, bro. It looks pretty expensive. Those shits were heavy, though. I'm not gonna lie. Those jokers were kind of heavy. Oh, you thought so, too. Normally, a room like this wouldn't be open during the busy season. Those were like the old PS2 days. Bro said bricked up TV. <laughs> I was trying not to think about it, but you don't think something happened here, do you? Senpai? What are you all quiet about? Uh-oh. Now that you mention it... What's happening? <laughs> bro said bricked up TV. Hey, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Those shits were hard. I mean, Jeez, TVs are hard in general, freaked but... me out. You answered, Pause. Daddy. Pause on everything. What are you freaking out for? Kaji's hands are shaking. Hello? What's happening? Oh, I see. Cool, thanks. That was the front desk. Oh. Alright, what, what's that about? Said the hot springs should be pretty empty right now. Alright, let's go. Wow, Amagi in. Great service. I broke out in a cold sweat. <laughs> oh, come on then. Let's go wash it off. I can't wait to take a bath with everyone. I mean, it's only the boys. It's not everyone. We'll all <laughs> face the same way and wash each other's backs. And we're gonna sing songs while looking at Mount Fuji, right? That's a bathhouse. Um, I can't wait either. <laughs> Man, everything on this side is so fun. Wait, is Mount Fuji in Japan? I didn't know that. It's all thanks to you for bringing people over to my side. I don't even know where Mount Fuji even is. Thank you, Sensei. I thought that was like somewhere out in like the north or some shit. Teji is gazing at you in gratitude. <laughs> Japan, bro. Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Teji's social link has reached level eight. <laughs> Oh brother. Hey man, I don't I don't I don't I don't even know anymore. Um shit. For purpose an ally with full HP Where is it? I don't know. Um Seems alright to me. Come on! The elevator's here! Uh, uh oh. Got animation? I don't have to sense or anything, do I? Where's now, uh, uh, huh? There you are. Jeez, no point being embarrassed now. Uh, wait, where's his son? Yo, what? Bro, <laughs> dude, what the hell? I see. 
Why did five people just join? Wait, okay, all right. The, the numbers just jumped in this bitch. Why is everyone jumping in this bitch now? Oh boy. What's gotten into you all? Come on over. There's plenty of room. Huh? Oh, okay. Wow, now tell your skin looks so soft. Can I touch? Can I touch? Why do I feel like we're okay? I actually. Huh? Um. Are they? What's happening? What? Wow, it really is smooth. Hey yo, bro, what is this? What is happening right now? <laughs> You're so lucky. You have such fair skin and silky hair. What if she doesn't want to be touched? I don't. I don't no know. No unneeded body fat either. Oh my God, what's happening? Hey, where are you touching? Oh my lord. Um, not a Kochan. Um, are you okay with staying over at someone else's place like this? Aren't you scared? I think he's fine. No, it's lots of fun. At home, I'm always alone until Big Bro comes back. Oh, I, I see. But I'm good at staying home alone. I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. Wow, I bet he's so proud of you. Hey, Nanako-chan, do you want to swim around? Can I? I thought they were supposed to do that. I've been swimming here since I was young. Do you still do it? Huh? Um... I like how they get the echo in the background. Why are you hesitating? Hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's race to the other side. Whoever loses owes everyone a fruit milk. I want lemon soda. Uh, what? Me too? What the hell's a lemon soda? Check out my dead man's float! Wow! You're good! That is actually terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. Oh! What a giant spring! <laughs> I'll show you all my teddy paddle! Um, oh no. Ow! What the- Damn! Huh? <laughs> teddy just laid it on her. You guys! Oh boy. You guys here? You guys might want to run. That's my line. Oh boy. Uh, there is the worst possible situation later. You have to hold the line. Retreat. <laughs> hold the line. <laughs> um, hold the line. Uh, unfortunately, you lack the courage to give that. Other Damn it! No. Retreat. You gave the order to retreat. Retreat. It's an honest mistake. We're not gonna forget this. Oh my god. We'll have to punish them later. Oh my god. Wow, you got him good. Liam's pretty deadly, huh? I wonder if they caught a glimpse. They I don't think they did. Oh, it's actually the guy's turn to use the springs now. Wow. The gaslighting and the physical abuse is insane. Dude, damn, how many buckets do they got? <laughs> I was wondering the same thing, bro. I was like, that's a lot of damn buckets. I got the times mixed up. <laughs> wow. Your fault. Are you serious? That's crazy. Aw, oh, crap. I think we went too far with them. Yeah, you started throwing fucking buckets at them. Uh, what should we do? I mean... Be fine as long as we keep quiet about it. This will just be between us girls. Wow, that is just that's toxic. All right. Do you want to race again, Nanako chan? You change it to Yukata and return to the room. Bath towel. Damn it. <laughs> I checked again and sure enough, the hot spring's supposed to be for men at that hour. They're so Evil. Evil, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but my head's all bumpy. Yeah, he got hit by a fucking wooden bucket. <laughs> Those are lumps from the pails whacking you in the head. You got lumps, man. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, you got hit too. So you got lumps as well. Hey, uh, guys? Did you, uh, see anything? Probably not. No. None whatsoever. They're wearing towels. Damn it. I lead a cursed life. Dad. Let's just go to bed. Just just go to sleep. Just, just take a nap. Hold it, senpai. Do you hear something? Oh my god. <clears throat> what the hell? What was that? <laughs> I heard it too. D don't tell me. Is there one here? A ghost? One here? One what? Dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm kind of confused. This room! It's the one that announcer was staying in before she died. My mom was talking about it. Oh god, you said it! <laughs> I was trying to block it out and you had to go and say it! Oh my lord. So that's why there's talismans here. Yukiko, that witch tempted us here knowing full well! Damn it! First the hot spring, now this! We've been completely suckered! <sighs> oh crap! What is that? There's no way I'm sleeping through this! I've made up my mind! I'm going to Yuki-chan's room! You're gonna get your ass whooped, Teddy. I can't sleep soundly unless I'm watching everyone's sleeping faces as I drift off. What the fuck is wrong with you? Dude, self-control! Sleeping faces? Are you gonna sneak into their room? You can't be- He's gonna die. He's literally gonna get killed. <laughs> Bro, what is that? Hey, what should we do? I mean... I guess we should go then. Damn, that was fast! Hello, man. <laughs> Dude, seriously, I can't stay here! Then we might as well leave, let's just go. Alrighty! It'll be a surprise awakening for them! It, yeah, it, it will be. It turns out you're going to be sneaking into the girls' room. Good morning, everyone! Teddy, why did you... Okay. It's a surprise awakening. No, a surprise break-in. This is Teddy reporting in. Teddy, no. Stop. When did you put that on? I feel awkward without it, so I always bring it. Stop talking like that. Yeah, like, why is he... <laughs> oh, check it out. A hairbrush. Ooh, and it's got long strands of hair on it. You're really into this, aren't you? Why is he into this? Damn straight. It's time I got revenge for the camp out. Hey, good point. All right, I'll get my revenge too. Oh boy. A, a toothbrush. What? No. Holy crap, my heart's pounding. Guys, stop. But what about Nanako-chan? Oh my god. Don't worry. Nanako-chan is a magnanimous girl. What what does that what 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 does that mean? Well, that's true, but try not to wake her up. She's not part of our revenge scheme. Wait, is the VA for Yosuke the same VA as the MC from Shinagari La Frontier? Oh, I'm gonna research real quick. Uh, his name is Ori Lori. I forgot his name. Fuck. It might be. I think you might be right. Cause they they do sound similar. I don't think we're in the wrong room. Oh, I finally reached the futons. They're fast asleep. Excuse me. Yuki-chan, I'm scared of the ghosts. All right. I can do this too. Time to prove I'm a man. Never mind, it's just Yuri. Cheers, senpai. Be gentle. Why are they yelling? What? Huh? One, two. Where's the rest of the futons? Yeah, they're in the wrong room. Hmm? What's going on? Ugh. Sheesh. Ugh. Oh, my! So that's how you guys are! Y'all might want to run. Ah, uh, 
You should have said so. Run, just get out of there. Mm, such naughty boys. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, be gone! <laughs> Holy crap! D don't touch me! <laughs> We were crying our poor eyes out until now, you know. We thought there were no men who appreciated our beauty. Bro. All right, boys. I'm all yours. And not a word about this to anyone. What? Bro. Hey, yo. Jail. Prison. <laughs> Come here, tiger. Meow. You you just you just need to be extinct. I don't know where you need to go, but you just need to be into the void, the the, the black hole or some shit. Yeah, just get out of there. I, t t dude, you've seen things no student should see. <laughs> Federal jail for you. You decide to give up and go back to your room to sleep. That is insane, bro. Oh, this feels great. They're still in the springs. I love, love, love being able to take a bath anytime I want! How's Nanako-chan? Fast asleep. Hey, did you know Miss Kashiwagi and Hanako-san were staying in the room next to ours? Those two seem to get along really well. I'm surprised. They come and stay here now and again. Usually they come to cry when something breaks their hearts. Huh, I guess they were really devastated from losing to Nautokun. <laughs> Bro. Please don't bring that up again. <laughs> well, they do make a good team. Then I am Maggie and passes by. Or he's just about to go home? Oh. Alright, save at this point. Oh boy. We came back from the Amagi Inn. You had the day off today because the cultural festival was on Sunday. Without any clues, all you could do now is wait for the incident to progress. What should you do today? Uh. It's from Yosuke. On you to pick up. You're free today, right? Can you give me a hand here? I'm begging you. This guy sounds very flustered. The Halloween fair starts at Juness today. We're nowhere near ready. We have the decorations, but I can't find the floor manager, and I have no idea who to ask for help. In the anime, they play ping pong angrily after the girls kick them out. Wait, really? <laughs> You're the only one I could think of. Please, I'm begging you. All right. Yes! I owe you one, partner! Blake. Yo, what's up, duty? How you been, man? <laughs> okay, I'll see you at the food court. You look good, man. No homo. <laughs> hey, you too, bro. You too. No homo. <laughs> I, I saw you. Uh, I was in your stream, like, yesterday. I didn't talk, but your, your, like, dress is getting longer. Not gonna lie. How long you, uh, like, how long do you want them to grow, like, to your neck or something? I don't know, I was just asking. I was curious. No homo. <laughs> it's... You should over to Juness. Alright, we want to go to Juness. Juness food court. Oh, yeah, we're really doing this. I've been good. Just making vids and stuff. How about you? Pretty much the same way. I've been in the same way. Uh... Yeah, I, I've been like trying to figure out my reaction, I ain't gonna lie to you. I used to have long locks, man. For real? Damn. So you like restarted, trying to grow them back? I tried doing the whole locks thing, they didn't look good on me. I think I'm more of a curly hair type of person. It, it doesn't work for my hair type. <clears throat> Damn. Oh, my back hurts, but I'm finally done. Dude, I look good. Uh, I'm done too. Ooh, perfect timing. We really are a well-oiled machine, huh? I should cut my locks last year in May and restart it. Hey, damn, really? 
In May? Damn, that's a long time. Shit, your hair grows like, wait, did we, was it already May? No. No, it was last year. Shit, I'm, I'm dumb as hell. <laughs> oh, so you, so you was like, shave, shaved. Okay. Like, you shaved all your hair off. But man. That costume's a good fit for you. It actually does look good on me, I ain't gonna lie. It's so natural on you that it looks like your everyday outfit. I'm gonna wear this at the dungeon. Uh, leave it to me. I just sign up for this part. Short one too. Of course! I'll put mine on once things get underway. I wouldn't ask you to do it if I wasn't gonna do it too. Yes, sir. Anyway, you were a lifesaver. Thanks. Congratulations, you received 100 messages today with Restream Chat. Hey, yo. <laughs> shaved fully. Damn. That's a long time. I haven't shaved my head fully in like a long time. I ain't gonna lie to you. You ever tried braids or something? That would be fire on you. Yeah. I want to do two strand twists, but I used to do them by myself. So I'm trying to like. I want to get it professionally done. So I'm gonna probably do that. I, there's like a hair dress. Uh. A stylist around here somewhere that I could go to, so I'm gonna definitely do that. <clears throat> I definitely want to check that and out. And again, as long as he's here. It, it looks like he's having fun. Hey, they got Teddy over there. <laughs> Guess he's like our store mascot now. Pretty much. Huh? Hey, uh, Yosuke Kun. Uh, What's going on here? What? Who's this? Oh, there you are! These are the decorations for the Halloween fair. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Yosuke Kun. That got canceled a while ago. What? What? Hmm? I uh, thought you were there for the morning meeting when they announced it. Dang, they did all this for no reason. Now that sucks. That's dope, man. I cut my own hair all the time. I have his sent to a barber in three years oh shit for real yeah i gotta learn how to like do that to be honest because i i i'm still i'm scared to do it because i don't want to fuck my shit up <laughs> oh well maybe you were still groggy since it was so early well i'll be counting on you to clean this up that's kind of crazy okay <laughs> this this is amazing though did you two uh, do all this yourselves Unfortunately, for no reason, yeah. Like, damn. If you're gonna work this hard, maybe we should have gone through with it. Dude, I'd be pissed. I ain't gonna lie to you. So stop looking at me like that. You're only making it worse. Let's <laughs> get apologized and gave you a thank you gift for before you went home. It was a Halloween costume that weren't used. Obtain Halloween costume. Hey. Got me a Halloween costume. It's cold today. Now for our next story. Mr. Kozai of the Environmental Concern Society visited a local elementary school to investigate the effects of the fog. Okay. Thick fog has appeared frequently in Inaba over the past few years, and the cause of it has yet to be determined. There's been much conjecture on the origin of this fog, and some are concerned about its effects on the human body. Mm. Town officials believe it highly unlikely that the fog could be harmful. One official suggested that the concern is largely tied to public anxiety in response to the recent murders. On hearing about the phenomenon, Mr. Kozai visited the local elementary school to investigate its effects. Right. He interviewed the children playing happily in the fog about their health and any anxieties they were facing. Oh, that man came to my school. Upon completing the investigation, Mr. Kozai issued a statement. In this day and age, one must stay aware of even slight changes in the environment and react politically. <clears throat> Today, I talked with a young student who spoke her own mind free from the influence of those around her. Was it not ago? It was an attitude and an example that we as adults can learn from. Our primary concern should always be to protect these children's futures. On that note, Mr. Kozai ended his statement. The assembled parents applauded, but some raised concerns that it was a show to attract voters in the next election. 
The news continues. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. My head hurts. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. Aiko's face looks red. She has a high fever. You need to put her to bed. No. You gave Nadako some medicine. It had her lie down. Hey, big bro. Nadako's sick. Are you Damn. going back home in spring? It's going to be winter soon. If it snows, can we make a snowman? As if you're not sick. We can play a lot. Let's play all the time until spring. Oh. I just sound like she's dying. Now that goes seems to have fallen asleep. Should take her to her bed later. I don't like this. I don't. I don't like this at all. <clears throat> so the cultural festival is over. Old man winter is on his way. Now we're entering the season for winter sports. Figure skating is really popular, isn't it? All right, this may be gym class, but I'm gonna give you an English lesson. Think of it as a mental strength training. Tell me, what the figure in figure skating refers to? Uh, I don't know. <sighs> I don't, I don't really care. It's... <laughs> I'm like sitting over here, I'm like, wait a minute, I don't even care about this. No, I don't want Nanako to die, bro. If Nanako dies, I'm gonna trip the hell out, bro. Ah, <sighs> fuck. So that's why they were saying her social link was probably important. I really hope she's not dead. I hope, I hope she's not dying, bro. Because that that's gonna suck. Nanako's one of my favorite characters. I couldn't, dude, her, her like social link wasn't a challenge, but it was like kind of just tedious because I had to do other things too. So I really hope she does not die. I hope she doesn't die. But that whole cultural festival thing was kind of funny, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Dude, our teacher's a full-on criminal, too. Like, the Kashiwagi girl, or whatever that woman is. Criminal. Criminal behavior. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if y'all watch this on stream or recording, click the like button, hit the bell notification, and subscribe. And I shall see y'all later. Peace out, man. <laughs>